Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be going through how you can use the take function in Microsoft Excel. The take function is an amazing and intuitive way to keep or extract rows and columns in your data sets. Some examples of using the take function include highlighting your top and bottom sales performers, as well as retrieving the last record of sales in your sales history. And with all that said, let's get into the video. Before we get started though, make sure to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss one in the future. In this first example, we have a data set containing salespeople with their total sales for the year and then a breakdown of their monthly sales next to it. Beneath our data set, we have four objectives that we want to complete. The first objective is to take the top three salespeople with the highest total sales in the year. Now to complete this objective, we are going to use the take function, but we're also going to be using the sort by function too to help us out. So let's go ahead and start entering in the take function. So in this cell here, I'm going to enter in an equal sign, then the word take, and we'll select it from the list. And let's take a look at its three arguments. The array argument is the range of cells that we're working with in our data set. So in this case, it's going to be this cell range here. Moving on to the rows argument, this is the number of rows that we want to take, which in this case is going to be three, because we want to take the top three salespeople. Moving on to our last argument, the column argument, this is the number of columns that we want to take. And because we are only taking the first two columns in our data set, we can enter in the number two here. And now that we have all our arguments in place, let's press the enter key and see what we get. So the output that we get isn't really what we wanted because we want the top three salespeople, not just the first three in our data set. So this is where we're going to be using the sort by function to help us out. So let's go back into our function and in the array argument, we're going to be using their sort by function. So I'm going to type it in and enter it like this and we can use the same array, but with the by array argument here, we want to sort by the total sales. So let's select this cell range here and we want it in a specific order, which is descending. So the highest is up top with the lowest at the bottom. And now we can close that function off. And now when we press enter, we get our top three salespeople. Now that we have our top three salespeople, let's take a look at the bottom three. Since we have our function already built out, let's go ahead and copy it from this cell here and then paste it here and then make a couple tweaks to it. So pressing enter, we get the exact same results. And now let's talk about how to get the bottom three. When we were taking the top three salespeople, we were using positive numbers in the rows and column arguments. And by using positive numbers, you tell the take function to start taking rows from the top and columns from the left of your array. Because we want to highlight the bottom three salespeople in this case, we don't want to start taking rows from the top of our array. We want to start taking from the bottom. So going back into our function, we can see the positive three here. So we're just going to adjust it by making it negative, then pressing enter. Now we get our bottom three salespeople because we're starting to count the rows to keep from the bottom of our sorted array. The next objective to complete is to show the top three salespeople with their monthly sales numbers for the first six months of the year. First, let's take a look at how the results are going to be displayed. So all we see here is a salesperson and then the first six months, meaning we're totally skipping the total sales column. So let's go ahead and fill in the salesperson column first. So with that, we can actually leverage the formula that we used in our first objective. So we're just gonna copy that and paste it in here. The only difference being we're gonna be changing this to a one because we don't want the total sales column. Pressing enter, we get the names Amelia, Benjamin, and Harper returned to us. So with that, we can go ahead and enter in the take function here to get the first six months of the year. And we're gonna be using the sort by function as well to help us out. The array that we're going to be taking is gonna be this cell range here. And then we're gonna be sorting it by the total sales column. And then our sort order is gonna be descending. So we get the highest numbers first and then the slowest numbers at the bottom. Then from here, we're just gonna take the top three rows using a positive three. And then if for the columns argument, we'll put in a six here so that we get the first six columns. Then we press enter. And now we get the top three salespeople 
with their monthly sales from January to June, the first six months of the year. Moving on to our last objective, here we want to show the same top three salespeople, except we only want to show their sales from July to December. So the first thing we can do is leverage the formula to get our salespersons. So I'm just going to copy the formula here and paste it like this. And then to get the last six months, I'm going to leverage this formula here. And I'm going to paste it down here. And now instead of taking the first six columns, we're going to take the last six columns. So we're going to turn this positive six into a negative six. And now we get the top three salespeople again, but with their monthly sales from July to December. In this next example, we have a table here called product revenue. And what it contains is our revenue history by date, region, and product category. It's also sorted by date in ascending order, meaning that the earliest date appears at the top and the most recent date appears at the bottom. With this data set, we're going to be completing the following objectives here on the right. Similar to our previous example, we're going to be using another function to help us out, which in this case is the filter function. So let's get started. The first objective here is to take the most recent record in the North region. Now because we're only focused on the North region, we need a way to make sure that the take function only takes rows where the array contains the region North. So that's where we're going to use the filter function first. So in the cell here, let's enter in our filter function. And then the array is going to be our product revenue table. And in this array, we only want to take information where the region is equal to the word north. So this filter function is going to return to us an array only containing rows where the region is equal to the word north. And now with that, we can wrap this filter function with the take function. And because we want to take from the bottom, meaning our most recent record, we'll enter in a negative one like this, close off our function like that, and then we can press the enter key. And now we get the most recent record in the north region, which corresponds to this row here. Moving on to our next objective, we want to take the most recent record in the electronics product category. So very similar to the first objective, but we're going to be using the filter function on another column in our table instead. So because we already have our take function built out from our first objective, we can copy it from this cell and then paste it into this cell here. We're going to make a couple tweaks. So instead of the region column, we want to look at the product category column. And instead of the word north, we want to look for the word electronics. Pressing enter, we now get the most recent record in the electronics product category, which corresponds to this row here. Our last objective is to take the region with the most recent record in the furniture product category. And this is similar to our previous objective, except we only want to show the date and region columns. So let's start by leveraging the take function up here and then pasting it into this cell down here. And we just want to change this electronics to say furniture. And we want to keep the negative one, but we'll add in a column argument here that only says we want to take the first two columns. So pressing enter, we now get the region with the most recent record in the furniture product category, which corresponds to this row here. And that's how you use the take function in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.